stop. If you're thinking about installing solar panels in Florida, then you're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to explain to you all the different incentives and rebates that are available and also some of the pitfalls to avoid so that you don't incur any penalty fees. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years I've been helping families get their homes set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course here at Solar Surge we do that using solar power and battery backup systems, and sometimes we do generator backup as well to provide a third level of protection. Now here in recent weeks I've been contacted by a number of homeowners in Florida who are looking at doing solar power and battery backup for their homes. Uh, we know we have the, the hurricane season is coming up here soon, and so a lot of homeowners just want to be protected to make sure nothing happens to them like what happened in Texas where people, some people were down for, you know, four or five days. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to be talking so much about solar equipment or technology, but I'm going to be talking about the specific solar laws and the rebate programs and the, um, uh, the insurance uh, regulations as it pertains to doing solar power in Florida. And I've got to tell you, Florida is one of the greatest states to install solar because, uh, as it's called, the, sun, the sunshine state, uh, you get tons of sunlight in Florida, about 20-25% more sunlight in Florida than you do compared to like where I live here in Virginia. So your solar panels will produce more power because they're receiving more sunlight. The other thing that's great about Florida is that labor rates for construction are relatively low. So we can offer right now in Florida some of the lowest installation prices in the country. So with that combination, as well as having record low interest rates right now, going solar in Florida is super affordable uh, as long as you take advantage of the right programs and avoid some of the pitfalls which will make you liable for penalty fees. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. One of the most popular ways to take advantage of solar savings is with net metering. And what net metering means is that your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. If you have abundant solar power available, you can be powering your house directly using solar power. And you can also be selling any excess solar energy that you have back to the power company, which essentially runs your meter backwards or it builds up credits on your account so that when you have to purchase power back from them during evening hours, you've already got this bank of credits built up. So you don't have to pay out of pocket, whether it's daytime or nighttime. So net metering is one of the best ways that you can take advantage of solar to zero out your electric bill. And especially those of you that are considering financing the purchase of the solar power system, you want to take advantage of the net metering so that you can use your monthly electric bill savings to cover the cost of your solar loan payment. That way it doesn't cost you anything out of pocket. Now, the good news is that the largest utilities in Florida do offer net metering. So if you're on Duke Energy or if you're on Florida Power and Light, you can take advantage of that net metering program right now. Also, for those of you that are interested in doing solar power with battery backup, the electric utility in Jacksonville also offers a $4,000 cash rebate for installing solar with battery backup. So it kind of lets you kill two birds with one stone. You can take advantage of the solar savings to avoid having to purchase electricity from the power company. And then you can also let the power company take advantage or, or cover some of the cost of getting a battery backup system installed. Florida also offers a property tax exemption, meaning that if you invest in installing solar or battery backup on your home, it's going to increase the value of your home, right? Which is gonna help you when it comes time to resell the home. However, Florida law prevents the local jurisdiction from assessing additional real estate taxes because of that value that you've added. So unlike other uh, home additions like pools or building physical space additions to the home, investing in solar and having that capability at your home is not gonna cost you anything more on your real estate taxes. Furthermore, Floridians, just like all Americans, can take advantage of the 26% federal solar uh, investment tax credit meaning that the federal government will actually reimburse you 26% of your overall project cost when you file your tax return. So if you haven't seen it already, please be sure to watch our previous video about how to claim the solar tax credit to make sure that you're not leaving any money on the table. Now, the last thing I wanna warn you about though is Florida has a law 
that requires you to carry insurance, liability insurance, uh, for system sizes that are over 10 kilowatts AC. Okay, so what does this mean? The power companies didn't like that they're losing so much money from people that are deciding to go to solar. So they convinced the lawmakers to pass this law that if you have a, a system size that exceeds 10 kilowatts, they then consider you what's called a tier two energy producer. And the, 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 the logic of it is basically that, you know, since you're providing, potentially providing so much more power onto the grid from your solar panels, uh, you now have to share the liability with the utility company of in, any injury that may occur from the utility workers that are working on the power lines. Uh, I think that's an asinine explanation, but this is how it works with the utility companies and the lawmakers. Basically, the power companies are saying, look, we're losing too much money. Let's penalize these people if they're going to be putting too much solar on the grid. So my advice to you, if you're a Florida homeowner, is if you want to maximize your dollar for dollar payback, you want to stay below that 10 kilowatts AC power rating. It doesn't mean your, your, the DC rating on your solar panels can't be a little bit higher. You could probably go up to 12 kilowatts DC power. Uh, or if you're doing a Generac power cell system, you can even go up to 15 kilowatts on your solar panels and still keep your inverter AC rating below that 10 kilowatt threshold where you'd begin to uh, incur penalty fees. And it's, it's not really a penalty fee. It's, it's you're required to carry a $1 million liability insurance policy, which of course is gonna be costing you to, to pay the premium for that policy. So for the best dollar for dollar payback in Florida, Make sure that you take advantage of net metering. Make sure that you take advantage of the 26% federal solar tax credit. And then make sure that if you want to maximize the dollar for dollar payback, make sure that you keep your system size below 10 kilowatts on the inverter's AC power rating. That way there's no liability insurance requirement. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, Florida is one of the best places to do solar because you get so much sunlight and your utility rates are sort of in that middle range. So if you choose to switch over to solar power and you finance the system, right now it shouldn't cost you anything out of pocket. In fact, it should actually save you about 10 to $20 a month if you're just looking at the comparison of keeping your, your old power bill or your current power bill and what that power bill would look like if you just switched it over to a solar loan instead. So your monthly cash flow would, would actually benefit and then of course eventually you pay the solar loan off and you, you still own the solar panels outright so you still have that free power coming off of it so if this is something that you're looking into uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to get a free no obligation quote for your home so you can look at some specific numbers of what solar would cost you and what the savings would be then feel free to reach out to us on the link below as always any kind of a price quote that we do that there's no obligation for you to purchase anything or to go forward with it it's just for your information and if you want to get set up with solar panels we've got great partners in florida that can help you do that we've got offices in jacksonville orlando miami and uh, we happy to get you up and running as soon as possible well folks as always if you're getting good value from the video today please be sure to click on that like button that way it forces the YouTube algorithm and also the other platforms to make the video more visible so more people can see it. Also, make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you won't miss any of the new videos. Right now we're putting out three to four new videos per week. Uh, and of course, um, if you like the information and you think others will benefit, be sure to share the link directly with them. Well, folks, thanks for taking the time to watch today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.